uh, I, I have my new favorite sheriff. Uh, our least favorite sheriff is in Arizona. Uh, so is our most favorite now. Pima County uh, Sheriff Clarence Dupnick. Uh, first, I want to show you a um, press report about him, which I loved. And then we're going to give you the man himself. Let's go to clip number three. I think the law is uh, one of the worst pieces of legislation I've ever seen in 50 years. Pima County uh, Sheriff Clarence Dupnick says he will not enforce the new immigration law. If the constitutionality of this law is held up, what do you do? Do you enforce it? Uh, no, because we're going to keep doing what we've been doing all along. We don't need this law. We're going to stop and detain these people for the Border Patrol. Dupnik calls the law racist and says deputies will be forced to police based on racial profiling. That's why he expects to get sued, whether he enforces the law or not. So we're kind of in a damned if we do, damned if we don't situation. It's just a, a stupid uh, law. Now, I've been a cop for 52 years, and if I tell my people to go out and look for A, B, C, or D, they're going to do it. They'll find some flimsy excuse, perhaps, like a tail light that's not working uh, as a, as a uh, basis for a stop, which is a bunch of baloney. Aren't there things you can do to say, hey, we're not going to raise your profile and, and make this law pure? No, I, I, we, could, we could do that. But why would we want to do that and make the local taxpayers pay and clog up the entire system? Dupnik says since federal law supersedes state law, he'll continue to order his deputies to detain illegal immigrants so the Border Patrol can take them into federal custody. What is the solution moving forward? The solution? Um, November election. <laughs> I love that solution. All right, look, uh, the most important point here is federal law supersedes state law. So now, of course, Republicans are livid about this. And they're like, how dare you not enforce the law? What kind of a example does that set? He says, look, look, I, I am enforcing the law. It's just federal law supersedes state law. So that's what I'm enforcing. And the other thing I loved about that is for the first time, a cop on camera admitting, hey, you know what? <laughs> we pull people over for flimsy excuses all the time, taillight, whatever baloney we can come up with, if we want to enforce something. You know, if we want to go after a particular set of people or whatever it might be, yeah, yeah, taillight, something, you know, we'll make it work. So he's like, look, I don't want them doing it in this case because they'll find a way to target, obviously, Latinos in Arizona for whatever flimsy excuse there is. So he's not going to do it. He's called it racist, disgusting, and stupid, the law. Guy's got some balls on him. I like him. All right, so let's go to his press conference and uh, hear more from our new favorite sheriff, Sheriff Dupnik. I have said some things about the state law. First of all, the state law is unnecessary. We already have the authority uh, to arrest uh, illegal immigrants. We take them into custody and we turn them over to the Border Patrol. We never asked for the legislature to provide us with this, quote, so-called new tool. And I'm not aware of any law enforcement agency that has asked the legislature for this new law. We've been asked to support the law uh, when they were framing it, and I refuse to do that, mainly because, A, we don't need it. But what they've done in the process of giving us this new law has put us in a damned if we do and damned if we don't situation when it comes to civil suits. What they've done with the law is said, if you don't, if any citizen thinks that you're not enforcing the law, they can sue you. And we already are in a position to get sued, and I know they have uh, sued uh, sheriffs in other parts of the state uh, for profiling. So we're damned if we do, and we're damned if we don't. So I just wanted to make sure that everybody understood uh, what exists and what, uh, what is really going on. I think the law, as I have said, is uh, unwise, it's stupid, and it's racist. From my point of view, it's a national embarrassment. You go get him, Dupnik! All right, we're on Dupnik's side. Uh, the other important point he made there is, look, we already have the authority. Th that's what I kept saying throughout this whole thing. What, they ca you can't arrest somebody if you find out they're a legal immigrant and hand them over to the federal authorities or the Border Patrol? Of course you can! And so... 
This is just an extra, like, oh, go out of your way to stop people who might look like illegal immigrants that haven't done anything wrong otherwise. Now, it's not going to work. It's not practical. It's not right. And uh, it's obviously going to cost the state of Arizona a lot of money. L.A. has already pulled a $7.2 million worth of contracts uh, from, with the state of Arizona. So there goes that money. The American uh, Immigration Lawyers Association has pulled their conference. There goes that money. And uh, it will continue uh, going forward like this. I love that Dupnik is standing up to it and said, yeah, I'm going to enforce the law, federal law. So God bless. Go forward.